Daktari Matuku naye hapa ni askari ambao walikuwa wamefundishwa yani mafunzo ya ukoloni. Tuko na kasomba ya ukoloni. Askari ya mkoloni alifundishwa kutesa mu Afrika. They were meant to rule in the natives. Kwa hivyo askari hapa walikuwa hawatumii ile maadili ambayo inatumia kule Ulaya. Hai ni askari walifundisha tu kufanya kazi hapa kwa ukoloni. Kule Tanzania Mwalimu Nyerere aliwafundisha ali askari walipopata uhuru askari wakapelekwa shule maalum ya kuangalia watu wao kama binadamu kutumia utu. Kwa hivyo kule Tanzania askari akitaka kushika wewe unakambia wewe ndugu na kuomba ni kushike. Eh? Yeah. ni nimalize kitu nafanya anasema tu endelea sio ukimaliza atakwambia wewe kwa sababu gani sio ni kama kule Ulaya Ulaya kule kama wewe unatembea umekipotea njia unakwenda kwa polisi naitwa Bobby niambie afande can you please show me the way to Trafalgar Square oh Trafalgar Square yes Take, go straight on about 100, 100 yards, turn left, then straight on. 50 yards, right. Straight on, you see it. You can't miss it. And I'm going to say, sana. Thank you, sir. And I'm going to say, thank you, sir. And I'm going to say, saluti. Kuye Nairobi, yapa. Hapa sasa wewe umetoka nje ya Nairobi umekuja umetoka kwa basi alafu ujui pale unaelekea gari yako uende kwa polisi unasema afande nimepotea unyeshi mimi njia kwenda gari yako umepotea ndio eh wapi kitambulisho eh afande au kitambulisho nilivacha nyumbani huna kitambulisho mara moja pingo unajifukuta kule kwa seli kesho unapeleka mahakamani at loitering with the intention to commit a felony sisi unashtakiwa na sasa ninataka kuambia askari askari wewe ni mtumishi ya hao wananchi ile ngumu ya paa ni ushuru yao hiyo hiyo bunduku na beba Msuri yao. Hiyo risasi iko ndani yake, msuri yao. Hiyo tia gasa na rusha, msuri yao. Nyumba pale unaishi, msuri yao. Mshara unakula, msuri yao. Kwa hiyo heshima. Wanaishi wako heshima heshima na nchi wa Kenya. You need to respect these people, they are your employers. They are the bosses. Sasa kama una nchi wanapata sheria kama kesho vile mshambiwa hapa sisi tumepeana notisi kwa polisi kulingana na sheria na katiba yetu katiba yetu katika fungu ya fungu ya kwanza nasema mamlaka katika jamhuri ya Kenya iko mikononi ya wananchi wa Kenya wanaweza kutumia hiyo mamlaka wao wenyewe moja kwa moja au kupitia kwa wa, 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 viongozi ambao wamechagua sasa kwa sababu viongozi wanapiga mnada wanapelekwa ikulu wanapewa rupurupu wanasema mameenda kutafuta maendeleo ikulu ni sababu tumesema tunarudi kwa wananchi watumie hiyo uwezo hiyo fungu ya kwanza direct pili fungu ya 37 inasema wa Kenya wako na huru ya kufanya uh, uh, naitwa picketing kwa pamoja kupeleka kumbukumbu petitioning na kufanya maandamano bali iwe ni amani sio ni sababu tumesema hiyo maandamano tunafanya ni maandamano ya amani na sheria imekubali kwa bwana kome koma kabisa kesho usileti fujo kome wewe koma usileti fujo 
tunati vurugu unasema ati utaweza kushika kila mtu mimi niko tayari nitakuwa kwenye mstari wa mbele bwana kome hapana tuma askari ndio we mwenyewe tu anana mimi ana kwa ana maana yake tuzipotetea haki na uhuru wa Kenya tutakuwa na, 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 na Kenya Kenya tena ah jamaa nasema bwana Ruto nasema tunataka kuleta anaki no mr ruto we don't want to bring anarchy in our country but we are fighting for our rights and we have a right to tell the kenyans the truth because the bible says that self said said the truth the truth shall the truth shall that's what we are saying mr ruto we have a right the people of kenya have a right to peacefully demonstrate na itakuwa namna hiyo sisi zote najua kila mara kwa mara nyinyi mnaongea kwa kanisa leo tumeongea kwa kanisa vile vile nyinyi kila mara kwa mara mnaongea kwa kanisa pale nafika kelele mingi zaidi sasa leo tumekujibu tuko tayari kama wanazimio wana tutaondana ana kwa ana asanteni sana Mungu wabariki.